What's up guys? This is Pro Warriors. In this video, we'll learn how to play PlayStation 1 games on your Android device using the Duck Station emulator. This is not a joke or clickbait. As you can see, I'm playing PS1 games on my Android device. And for your information, my phone only has an entry-level chip, yet I can still run PS1 games smoothly in high definition and at 60 frames per second even better than PS1. I'll guide you through setting up the Duck Station emulator, including the best configurations, control customization, and how to install games in the Duck Station emulator. This is a complete tutorial, so be sure to watch the full video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for future updates. Duck Station for Android is a popular emulator that turns your Android device into a PS1 console. It's known for its high compatibility and performance. You can download the app from either the Google Play Store or GitHub, where it's frequently updated. It supports customizable graphic settings, various input methods, save states, cheat codes, and more. Before we are going to install the emulator, Let's look at the three things we need. The Duck Station emulator itself, a PlayStation 1 BIOS file, and the PS1 game files that you legally own. I recommend creating a folder in your phone's internal storage. Name it something like PS1 and move all these files into it. To download the Duck Station app, you can find it on both Google Play Store and GitHub, but I prefer GitHub because it offers the latest updates. Once you've downloaded the APK, go ahead and install it. Next, you'll need the PlayStation 1 BIOS file, which is essential to run Duck Station. Unfortunately, I can't share any direct links here. The final element is the PlayStation 1 game files you want to play. Remember, you should only use game ISOs or ROMs if you own a legal copy of the game. Before trying any game, it's important to check the compatibility list to ensure the game is playable. Make sure your games are in supported formats like ISO, CHD, or BN. Now let's launch the app. The first screen you'll see is a welcome message. Just click Next. Now we're in the Settings page. Some common adjustments here help the app understand your needs. You can switch between light and dark themes. For the GPU renderer, I prefer using Vulkan, but if you're unsure, Select Automatic so the app can choose the best option for you. Resolution scaling allows you to increase or decrease the game's resolution up to 16 by. I recommend using 5x, which is equivalent to 1080p. Higher resolutions require more powerful hardware. Set the aspect ratio to widescreen 16 to 9 and enable landscape orientation. You should also enable Expand to Cutout Area and Widescreen Hack to make better use of the display. Enable PGXP Geometry Correction for improved graphics. Next, the app will ask you to import the BIOS file. Select Import BIOS and navigate to your PS1 folder where the BIOS file is stored. The region of the BIOS file doesn't matter. Once the bin file is imported, click Next. Now, it will ask you to select the directory where your game files are stored. Click the plus icon and navigate to your PS1 folder. Then click Use this folder to give DuckStation access to your phone's storage. Click Next to complete the setup. Your games should now appear in the game library, and you can switch between list and grid views. If the games don't have cover art, you can click and hold the game to upload the cover manually. Let's start a quick game. As you can see, the game is launching within DuckStation. I recommend switching your device to landscape mode for a better experience. I'm playing Final Fantasy here. As you can see, I have all the regular PlayStation 1 controller options. The gaming experience will depend on the game and your Android device's performance. Here, Service Warp sidebar, if you want to save game state, you can just click on the pause icon on the top right and select Save State, and then choose one of the empty slots to load the game. Just click on the pause icon again, select Load State, and then select one of the saved slots. While playing the game, you can adjust the graphics and customize the control layout. I'll cover the best settings another day. That's it, guys. If you want to watch something like this, please like and subscribe to our channel. Join our Discord server for any type of help. See you in the next video. Take care.